Cursor has recently introduced some remarkable updates. This update primarily includes some big improvements in Cursor Agent, some UI improvements, and of course, the MCP servers. All of these updates are available in Cursor Pro version, and we'll just review all of these updates in a minute. Sorry for the glasses if these are a bit distracting. Before we start, please subscribe to this YouTube channel and click on that like button as well. All right, the first major update is Cursor Agent. Agent is now the default mode. If you open Cursor, this is how it looks like. Agent is now by default selected, and as per my personal experience agent is now way more smarter and more aware of your entire project and context another really remarkable thing in cursor is cloud sonnet 3.7 for all of my projects i just use cloud initially i was using cloud sonnet 3.5 and now i use cloud sonnet 3.7 and and Cloud Sonnet 3.7 is just amazing for coding projects. I'm not really impressed by GPT-4 Omni, but Cloud Sonnet 3.7 is just genius. So Agent is now the default mode, bringing a more powerful and unified AI experience. No more confusion between Chat, Composer, and Agent. So initially we had Cursor Composer, Cursor Chat, and Cursor Agent separately. So all of that is now combined into Cursor Agent. They have made some UI improvements as well. Another important update is Web Search. Agent can now automatically search the web for up-to-date information without requiring explicit web command so let's suppose if you have given a command to cursor to a certain task and it is required to search for web you don't have to mention like at web we used to do that previously but now cursor automatically has that capability built in inside its agentic mode another update is dot cursor ignore file so just like our dot cursor rules file Cursor has recently introduced dot cursor ignore file as well. Now this file actually blocks from being added in chat or sent up for tab completions. In addition to ignoring them for indexing, we introduce dot indexing ignore for specifically controlling the file indexing. So this is a remarkable as well. There is an agent to limit as well. So let's suppose if you give a certain task to cursor and now if it has reached 25 tool calls, so it will just like pause there. Then you can just continue and carry on from there with that same context. So cursor will be aware of the previous context that it was doing and then from it will just carry on from there. There is an update about cursor rules as well. So now capability to apply rules globally and a visual indicator for when rules will be applied. Another really exciting thing is actually MCP servers. What are MCP servers? MCP is model context protocol. It was initially introduced by Anthropic Cloud. Cursor has introduced a separate MCP section inside Cursor settings. You can access it here. Just click on this settings button in here. And then in here, you can simply just access this MCP tab. So what it does. So let's suppose I'm just giving you a random example. I'll actually create a separate video about MCP servers, but I'm just like here giving an example. So let's suppose if you are creating a backend using Superbase. So if you want to like manage your entire database and maybe your SQL queries and everything directly from cursor, rather than going to Superbase dashboard and then running an SQL editor query inside your SQL editor. So rather than doing that, what you can do, you can simply just add your Superbase database connection string, and then you can link your Superbase directly in here inside your mcp server it will provide you with command you can just like give it a name anything and then you can simply just add that in here and then you can directly manage that from here there's a whole kind of marketplace of mcp servers you can find it on either mcp.so or cursor.directory you can find different kind of mcp servers in here so this is how it works you can simply just choose any of these servers let's suppose i'm choosing this super base server and after that what you can do you can simply just copy this command from here simply just copy that command from here just add that command in here just give it a name and then type just choose as command and then simply just click on add and that super base server will be added in here i'll create a very detailed video about mcb servers later let me just show you some glimpse of enhanced version of cursor agent with cloud sonar 3.7 so this is the react native project one of the apps that i'm actually working on let's just give it some sort of command and see how cursor agent works please add authentication system in my project i want you to use firebase for the authentication system, create fully functional authentication system. Also create the relevant UI as well. So this is just like a basic prompt that I'm giving it. Just press enter and now you can see the functionality of this cursor agent is, I mean, you won't see any like apparently some like visual changings in here, but the functionality, it, it, it makes really, really minimum, minimum, minimum mistakes now. So doesn't matter how complex your project is you can see it just like scanned your entire directory it scanned different folders inside your project then it edited your package.json file now it is actually asking to uh, like run this command so 
it is more smarter agent is more smarter the quality of code that it is writing is better uh, because we are using of course cloud 103.7 and that too is a reason but overall cursor agent is more smarter it makes less mistakes and most of the times previously i used to like get stuck and so like minor silly errors but now cursor agent is more smarter it is making less mistakes and it is just amazing so it has just like installed these packages and now it is now creating the necessary files so it is actually creating this firebase component so now there's an error it will automatically like now fix this error as you can see it has automatically fix that error i'm really impressed by cursor agents capability to make like less errors because sometimes most of the times in fact cursor agent just like it's, it's it, it gets stuck inside a loop in a very silly mistake and you just like keep trying again and again and you are just like unable to solve that mistake but now cursor agent is way more smart way more sharp less buggy and better code actually now it is creating the sign up screen so it is creating all of the required components installing all of the required packages and setting up everything properly with just one prompt it is just doing all of that and now it is creating a forget password screen we did not ask it to do that i just mentioned that just create relevant screen so it is just like creating the sign up screen and then now it is creating forget password screen which is amazing now it is creating a profile screen to display user information and provide a logout option that too is amazing we did not ask for that we just mentioned to like create a relevant screen so it is like creating all of the relevant screens related to authentication system in the previous version of agent we had to like do that step by step manually but in here this updated version of cursor agent is more smarter and just like creating all of the required files which is amazing there is an error and it has just automatically noticed that error and now it is just like fixing that error and it was unable to fix that error and now it is just trying a different approach to fix that error still was unable to fix that errors and now what it has done it has created a new authentication index file and now it just like did that to fix that error and this is what that agent tool limit thing is because now it has completed its 25 tool calls now we can actually resume this conversation from here and it will just like carry on from there and just like that it will just like carry on from there it has just fixed that index.esx error as well and now everything is done all of the authentication system is done and now it is just like mentioning that everything is done so yeah this new update has improved the functionality of cursor agent for some time i was actually biased towards windsurf but i think after this update i think cursor is the best ai code editor out there for any sort of like serious developments and i know cursor is a paid tool and most of you just don't want to like pay for cursor i'm actually releasing another video very soon about one of the best free ai code editor which is completely free and has similar cursor like agentic functionality and that is absolutely free and like completely unlimited to use so keep an eye and please subscribe to this youtube channel i see you next video bye, -bye.